they are taxing intelligence. Like as I, as I think I said in a recent um, vibecast, like every little thing that happens somehow will go through these big tech servers or these big tech infrastructure and they'll take a small little slice every single time. Even if Power BI gets, gets disrupted, you know, and a new way of doing things appears, which like it's going to happen. Um, a new way of doing email, like email, if you think about email, it's so inefficient, right? Like why couldn't you just voice activate that now? Like that, that's, that's sort of where that's going. Um, but you know, at the end of the day, they've still got the infrastructure. They've still got like, they've still got all these big things like that they are going to absolutely crush it. I, I, I just have no doubt. Even, even if they, these strategies don't, don't sort of aren't as successful as, um, as, as they are probably hoping. It's hard to say, you know, I mean, who can know, you know, it's like, I, I can't yeah. even predict what's going to happen next week, but yeah, if I were any of these firms would make me nervous is, you know, you've always been able to count on the fact that integration means something and you know, that the co-pilot inside of Power BI is easier and better for some people than having to go externally to Google or externally mm. to Claude. But now under, you know, the fact that everybody's cast their lot with MCP and it's so, e you know, it, it's going to get easier and easier to just add tools in, you know, that, that, that basically whatever, whatever model you're using can easily become your MCP client.